So just to recap, we have up top the statement balance, which we had to correct last time because I did like three presentations with it being incorrect because I'm blind, but now it's right, I think. And then we have the cleared balance, which is now the same as the statement balance, which is usually when we get this difference and we're good to go, we're good to finish, but we held off on finishing because there's still something funny going on here because the beginning balance, the numbers that make up this cleared balance, uh, this doesn't line up. This beginning balance over here says 30,000 and over here it says 25,000. My payments also don't line up. They're equal and opposite, which is the reason I have this strange coinky dinky that the thing is in balance when these two things are off. So this is 106.829 minus the minus the 111829. So that's 5,000. Those two things just happen to be netting each other out to make us be in balance. But I'd rather kind of see an audit trail to see exactly what is going on with these beginning balances. So there's kind of two issues that can happen with the beginning balances. Uh, with the first bank reconciliation one is that this beginning balance here might not match what's on your books and the second is that if you enter this into your quickbooks system it might not even show up that twenty-five thousand might not show up at beginning balance but might be recorded as a deposit somewhere down here now that second issue the way i would deal with that is just to check it off as if it cleared and you'd still reconcile instead of having it show up as a beginning balance it would just be included in the deposits just mushed together and i would just record that and show that on the first bank reconciliation as what has happened so i can note that going forward the second problem however is something i, I would like to get a little bit more detail on typically to to really tie off that first bank reconciliation and that is the fact that this beginning balance is different than the beginning balance we entered into the system because in the first bank reconciliation or the first number that i put into the system had to tie out to the numbers i pulled from my prior accounting system as of the cutoff date before i started the current accounting system which was 12 31 uh, 2022. so so why is it that this balance doesn't tie out to what's on the bank statement as of 12 31 2022 because we had outstanding balances as of that point in time there was a difference between the bank balance and the book balance due to timing differences at that point in time so if i looked at the bank rec from my prior accounting system i could i would be able to see what those things were i could say okay there's these uncleared items that were the timing differences as of the prior period and that's what the difference is the reason that we're back in balance is because those things that were that were outstanding last time cleared this time and we couldn't check them off in our current accounting system because they had been entered last period they were entered in the prior accounting system so they're not showing up in our accounting system and if i if if all the uncleared items from the prior accounting system cleared this period i get that nice happy coincidence that i'm back down to zero and I could move forward from there. However, if I had outstanding items from the prior accounting system, which is quite common that they didn't clear in the current system, I wouldn't be able to move forward. It wouldn't reconcile. I wouldn't have the happy coincidence. And that's quite common as well. So the way I want to deal with that is I want to look at the prior accounting system and say, okay, I'm going to enter these checks that were in the system. And then I'm going to change my beginning balance to reflect what's on on the bank statement. So so what I'm gonna do over here is I'm gonna change this number to be 30,000, but I'm not gonna mess up my beginning balances because I'm also gonna add those two checks which will net each other out. And I'm gonna do so by entering, the, entering them before the cutoff, meaning we started the cutoff or entering data into our accounting system January of 2023. I'm gonna enter this change as of December of uh, 2022 or you could enter it at the time of the check when you actually wrote it from the prior accounting system. But I don't think that's even really relevant as well. I'd rather enter all my entries as of the beginning balance date of 12-31-2022 before the cutoff 